Welcome back everybody. Um, it's a little bit different. I'm outside today. I have been cleaning around house after work and I've been thinking about the wedding stuff all day long. And I told y'all that when I got the stuff, the buckets and stuff, that I was going to paint them, that I was going to show y'all and let y'all know what the outcome is. And also I have the card holder. Um, I don't know what it was. <laughs> um, if you know what it is comment below but I'm going to paint that also and try and decorate it I know there's some decorations that I still kind of want to get for it but I'm going to show you a little bit of what I have and what the um, outcome will be sorry I'm stumbling so let's just start so like I mentioned before I'm outside these are the two buckets that I got for 99 cents each at one of the thrift stores and they are both identical. They are both a little rough around the edges. It looks like they have been used. I will be spray painting them with this Rust -Oleum, Rust -Oleum <laughs> Universal Metallic Paint and Primer in Titanium Silver. I did check and it does um, paint good on plastic. And for indoor outdoor durability, and this is what the cap focus that is what the cap looks like um for a color wise this little silver so let's just see what it looks like oh sorry about the plane i live in an air force base area so i don't know if you can tell um here's the before i opened it up i'm gonna go ahead and start painting then I am painting, you can see my paint, with the Valspar Project Perfect Primer um, in white. So it's good for metal, as you can see. So we're going to start on this one. Okay, so I just made this Williamson Winter Wedding 17 hashtag board. I know it looks really big, and it's because the fireplace that we're getting married at is huge what we did was we bought this long white board it was already primered and everything I'm not sure how long it was 10 or 12 feet um we I, I made these the, all this is is cardstock I printed them out um I cut them out and then we measured how far it was going to be I wanted just a little space on the end Joseph ended up cutting it off and then he hammered it into there's two little sides so it's just gonna it's a antique fireplace so um it's just gonna sit there and people can take pictures in front of the fireplace because the fireplace is gonna be so pretty and there's arabella sorry i'm watching um the notebook and then i've been making signs all day sorry it's dark and it's a mess I bought this board, um, I think I showed it, it was $2.99, it was a brown, and I painted it like a distressed, and my alarm's going off like it always does. <clears throat> Sorry. Tissues, because I was um, erasing chalkboard a thousand times, all my little chalkboard stuff, but um, I made it distressed. I'm going to stick just actually a black poster board in the middle, and um, write in chalk. Let me just see. Let's see over here. I did. This is dark. Um, I have this. It says date, night, ideas. I think I got these for a dollar Dollar Tree a year or so ago. And then I just put little signs in the or little design in the corner. And then there's donuts. And then I got, I'm, I put Chuck Word on this one. Um, Let Love Glow. And then I have some little stands that they will go in. I don't know why I just can do two or three words really good in the chalkboard and then I feel like it's bad <clears throat> oh I also did this um, I'm not done with it I did it like in this chalk chalk not the like the ink but if you see it's a little bit darker in certain areas and I'm like oh my pen ran out I just did it in the chalk first all this is is black foam board so it's one of those I couldn't make a mistake and I am going to put little designs on it but like I said I need to go back and get buy another one because I ran out of the like the liquid chalk pen I got this I'm so sorry it's dark oh 
here we go. I did get this frame for $8 um, at Michael's. It was on clearance. It's a pretty big frame. And then I already had twine. Like, I have a whole, like, it's a huge roll of twine. And then I just got those little things. And so I'm just going to stick pictures, which here in a little bit I need to go and order them. And I'm going to put, like, some flowers and some pine so I'm extra excited for that. It's probably going to go on the gift card table. And then I got that last year. That's going to be incorporated that I found out in the garage. And then, of course, some more crates and stuff. Welcome back. Um, the actual video that you probably just saw um, where I was outside painting, I actually ran out of paint and it got dark. And so this is probably a month later and um, I just wanted to show you the finished product I ended up did go ahead and decorating it's not very good like tutorial it's just a little bit something that I did to get the wedding planning going so I'm gonna go ahead and show you so this is actually the finished product I did go ahead and paint it white I ended up doing about two coats um, to get like in the edges and stuff um, so I got some like fake leafery leafery <laughs> i got some fake leaves in the clearance section at walmart and um also um this little moss greenery and what i did was i just cut it and i taped it literally that's all i did and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it right there on that end and then again this i'm going to set here um, I'm go I will secure it a little bit better, but then I went to the park and picked some pine cones, and I'm going to stick those right here um, on top of the tape, just to like decorate it more for like Christmas, but I will secure it a little bit better. I'm not probably sure how. I might um, hot glue it, but I definitely don't want to keep this as decoration forever, um, and then what's going to happen is... I don't know yet how I'm going to have it, whether it's this way or the other way. And then they can just slip the cards right through here. But it kind of, you know, helps so people just can't maybe fish pocket the, the cards. If you had to happen to have somebody like that in your family or friend. But not only that, it just was some greenery, like with the Christmas. Now, I will have some real flowers, so I may add some, like, um, baby's breath or something just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, but to be honest, this project, I think the paint was probably the most expensive, which I can use on other stuff, too. But this project probably cost me less than $10 for everything. I have a lot more of this left, a lot more of this left, and of course those were free. And this was $2.99 at Goodwill. So, I mean, I think that's a little cute little card holder. And I can decorate it any other way with different kind of events. So, there's that. Now, as you remember, um, the buckets that I was painting, um, this was a final project product i know it looks like i set it down in grass it's not perfect but that's at the bottom these will probably hold some napkins some um silverware and then this one too again these were two for a dollar 99 cents at the um thrift store and i got this for 3.99 at michael's on sale this did take two coats of paint joseph ended up painting it it looks way much better than when i painted the other one but i had gotten it all over me and that's why these look a little that's okay it's going to be dark in there and i mean no offense i really don't care so the paint was expensive the paint was like six dollars and i think we ended up buying like three of them so i mean it kind of one of those things but again we can use this for other stuff too and they're lightweight and they're plastic, so it's not like we have to carry heavy stuff. So that is it. I'm so sorry that this tutorial little thing ended up like this. I I had started it making sure that I was going to have plenty of time to finish it. and But I just, I had all the footage and I kind of just wanted to finish um, when I had started. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If not, that's okay. Um, again, we'll see you guys later, and I'm having so much fun planning my wedding. Bye, guys.